Racism is the belief that groups of humans possess different behavioral traits corresponding to inherited attributes and can be divided based on the superiority of one race over another. It may also mean prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against other people because they are of a different race or ethnicity. Modern variants of racism are often based in social perceptions of biological differences between peoples. These views can take the form of social actions, practices, or beliefs, or political systems in which different races are ranked as inherently superior or inferior to each other, based on presumed shared inheritable traits, abilities, or qualities. There have been attempts to legitimize racist beliefs through scientific means, such as scientific racism, which have been overwhelmingly shown to be unfounded. In terms of political systems, e.g. apartheid, that support the expression of prejudice or aversion in discriminatory practices or laws, racist ideology may include associated social aspects such as nativism, xenophobia, otherness, segregation, hierarchical ranking, and supremacism. While the concepts of race and ethnicity are considered to be separate in contemporary social science, the two terms have a long history of equivalence in popular usage and older social science literature. Ethnicity is often used in a sense close to one traditionally attributed to race, the division of human groups based on qualities assumed to be essential or innate to the group, e.g. shared ancestry or shared behavior. Racism and racial discrimination are often used to describe discrimination on an ethnic or cultural basis, independent of whether these differences are described as racial. According to the United Nations' Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, there is no distinction between the terms racial and ethnic discrimination. It further concludes that superiority based on racial differentiation is scientifically false, morally condemnable, socially unjust, and dangerous. The convention also declared that there is no justification for racial discrimination, anywhere, in theory or in practice. Racism is a relatively modern concept, arising in the European age of imperialism, the subsequent growth of capitalism, and especially the Atlantic slave trade, of which it was a major driving force. It was also a major force behind racial segregation in the United States in the 19th and early 20th centuries, and of apartheid in South Africa, 19th and 20th century racism in Western culture is particularly well documented and constitutes a reference point in studies and discourses about racism. Racism has played a role in genocides such as the Holocaust, the Armenian Genocide, and the Genocide of Serbs in the independent state of Croatia, as well as colonial projects including the European colonization of the Americas, Africa, Asia, and the population transfer in the Soviet Union including deportations of indigenous minorities. Indigenous peoples have been and are often subject to racist attitudes. In 1919, a proposal to include a racial equality provision in the Covenant of the League of Nations was supported by a majority, but not adopted in the Paris Peace Conference in 1919. In 1943, Japan and its allies declared work for the abolition of racial discrimination to be their aim at the Greater East Asia Conference. Article 1 of the 1945 UN Charter includes promoting and encouraging respect for human rights and for fundamental freedoms for all without distinction as to race as UN. Purpose. In 1950, UNESCO suggested in the race question a statement signed by 21 scholars such as Ashley Montague, Claude Levi-Strauss, Gunnar Murdahl, Julian Huxley, etc. to drop the term race altogether and instead speak of ethnic groups. The statement condemned scientific racism theories that had played a role in the Holocaust. It aimed both at debunking scientific racist theories, by popularizing modern knowledge concerning the race question, and morally condemned racism as contrary to the philosophy of the Enlightenment and its assumption of equal rights for all, along with Murdahl's An American Dilemma, The Negro Problem and Modern Democracy, 1944, the race question influenced the 1954 U.S. Supreme Court desegregation decision in Brown v. Board of Education. Also, in 1950, the European Convention on Human Rights was adopted, which was widely used on racial discrimination issues. The United Nations used the definition of racial discrimination laid out in the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, adopted in 1966. Any distinction, exclusion, restriction, or preference based on race, color, descent, or national or ethnic 
origin that has the purpose or effect of nullifying or impairing the recognition, enjoyment, or exercise, on an equal footing, of human rights and fundamental freedoms in the political, economic, social, cultural, or any other field of public life. Part 1 of Article 1 of the UN International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, in 2001, the European Union explicitly banned racism, along with many other forms of social discrimination, in the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union, the legal effect of which, if any, would necessarily be limited to institutions of the European Union. Article 21 of the Charter prohibits discrimination on any grounds such as race, color, ethnic or social origin, genetic features, language, religion or belief, political or any other opinion, membership of a national minority, property, disability, age, or sexual orientation and also discrimination on the grounds of nationality. Debates over the origins of racism often suffer from a lack of clarity over the term. Many use the term racism to refer to more general phenomena, such as xenophobia and ethnocentrism, although scholars attempt to clearly distinguish those phenomena from racism as an ideology or from scientific racism, which has little to do with ordinary xenophobia. Other CONF late recent forms of racism with earlier forms of ethnic and national conflict. In most cases, ethno-national conflict seems to owe itself to conflict over land and strategic resources. In some cases, ethnicity and nationalism were harnessed in order to rally combatants in wars between great religious empires, for example, the Muslim Turks and the Catholic Austro-Hungarians. Notions of race and racism have often played central roles in ethnic conflicts. Throughout history, when an adversary is identified as other based on notions of race or ethnicity, in particular when other is interpreted to mean inferior, the means employed by the self-presumed superior party to appropriate territory, human chattel, or material wealth often have been more ruthless, more brutal, and less constrained by moral or ethical considerations. According to historian Daniel Richter, Pontiac's rebellion saw the emergence on both sides of the conflict of the novel idea that all native people were Indians, that all Euro-Americans were whites, and that all on one side must unite to destroy the other. Basil Davidson states in his documentary, Africa, Different but Equal, that racism, in fact, only just recently surfaced as late as the 19th century, due to the need for a justification for slavery in the Americas. Historically, racism was a major driving force behind the transatlantic slave trade. It was also a major force behind racial segregation, especially in the United States in the 19th and early 20th centuries, and South Africa under apartheid, 19th and 20th century racism in the Western world is particularly well documented and constitutes a reference point in studies and discourses about racism. Racism has played a role in genocides such as the Armenian Genocide, and the Holocaust, and colonial projects like the European colonization of the Americas, Africa, and Asia. Indigenous peoples have been and are often subject to racist attitudes. Practices and ideologies of racism are condemned by the United Nations in the Declaration of Human Rights. 